From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Open Line. Good Monday evening, everybody. Rory Johnston with you here on News Channel 5 Plus. Time for Open Line. It's a chance for you to call in with your questions and comments. We bring in all sorts of guests for you. And hey, did you notice it's springtime out there? Springtime means baseball and something big here for Nashville as the Nashville Sounds are getting ready very soon to move to their brand new home right in our backyard here at News Channel 5, First Tennessee Park. So tonight we are welcoming uh, Toby Compton from Metro Sports Authority. Toby, good to have you here, sir. Thanks Thank for so coming much. in. I yeah. appreciate it. On opening day of baseball, no less. Yeah, that's right. Opening day of Major League Baseball. We just showed some highlights. Steve Lehman over on, uh, on the main channel was saying, He's glad baseball's here because tonight, later on tonight, the college basketball season will be over. And he said, what do I do? Well, now we turn to Focus our attention baseball. to baseball. Hope springs eternal. Uh, really hard to believe uh, that a little more than a year ago, that in our backyard over here, that there was nothing there. Right. And now, I mean, really a remarkable achievement that a week from Friday, uh, we're going to have baseball playing right there at First Tennessee Park. Absolutely. 11 days from now brand new facility and we've been over at Greer Stadium for about 40 years and it'll be so nice to transition to this new facility. It'll be cutting edge, state of the art. It'll be a fantastic facility mm -hmm. for folks and yeah we did it you know, in a little over 60 weeks so yeah. it's amazing. Uh, aggressive t uh, timetable there. To very, take. very aggressive. We've had uh, an excellent construction team, really good project managers, good architects and that's really kind of allowed us to do something that probably should have taken us a little mm -hmm. bit longer but you had to get it done because we had to squeeze it in. You know, Greer, Greer had really become untenable in a lot of situations, wasn't ADA compliant, the league had issues, and so yeah, it was very important for us to get it um, done and then delivered, you know, at a reasonable time for we can, mm -hmm. our use this season. All right, 737 plus everybody's the phone number, you see it there on the screen. Uh, this is a fun topic tonight, we're also going to be discussing some serious issues having to do with uh, the construction of this ballpark. and if. We hope that you're going to go out and check out some, some games maybe in the last couple of years because of Greer or because of various yeah. reasons you, you never made it, but now you have a reason you, you want to come and number one, check out the new ballpark, and number two, uh, the Sounds are now affiliated with the new major league uh, organization, the right? Yeah, that's right. The Oakland A's. And uh, we want to root on the local team. So starting uh, next Friday is how many game homestand is it? Uh, we'll have about a little bit 40. It's, uh, it's pretty close right, to but this actual homestand when oh, they begin, it's yeah, eight, eight, like a uh, six, eight, eight, game, uh, six or eight. eight. Yeah, yeah eight. Several, a number sorry. of games. So if you can't get there actually next Friday, yeah. you got a number of home games to choose from. So call in with your questions and comments. We we'd love to hear from you tonight. All right, so Toby, uh, this park we know there's still when people go in on opening day, obviously there's still going to be construction cranes in the general area. Sure. Uh, what is not going to be done? I mean, what areas can we look for? Because it, like we said, this has been an aggressive sure. timetable. Well, in the area around the uh, around Sulphurdale, First Tennessee Park, <clears throat> uh, what people will see are cranes on, on kind of the north and south ends of the ballpark. On the north end, closest to Jefferson Street, yeah. that is the uh, Embry development. That's an uh, apartment development. Uh, it's on the screen. There's some Sky 5 footage. The Embry development there at the north up near Jefferson Street um, is, is under construction. So that large kind of concrete box is the uh, is, is their parking garage, you know, their their mechanical, their elevators, structures, and stuff like that. Folks will see that. Are, are people surprised because when they see that, they think, well, that has to be somehow attached first. It's so close. Right. It's right there on Jefferson Street. Right. Um, but it is a private development. That's a but problem. what people don't realize is if you look at those designs, and, and we do have some SkyFi video that we're going to be showing throughout, is is that is a kind of a combined, there are going to be some condos and private development and retail or whatever right close to, it's all going to be kind of mixed use, right? Yes, that's correct. Well, the, the stuff that people will see under construction now is simply apartments. Right. On the other side of the ballpark, you'll see a bunch of cranes, and that's where the thousand par parking garage uh, is being built. Unfortunately, it's not going to be done. The state uh, is behind on that project mm -hmm. right now. A uh, thousand car garage. The mixed use development will be on the third avenue side of the ballpark, and that will probably get underway construction towards the end of the year. Mixed use on the bottom, the condos on the top uh, have a really neat Wrigley feel. So if you, you know, uh, buy feel, one of those yeah. things, have, they're going to have large. Uh, large patios Rooftop so you can decks, look, you can look directly game. into the game. Yeah. Be fantastic. Uh, they're still going to be doing fireworks? Fireworks on Friday nights throughout the season. That's right. Throughout the season. All right. Yeah. So 
be here excited. at News Channel 5, I'll be able to go out there. You'll and, be able to watch it from your backyard. Show. That's yeah, right. We, we like that. 737 Plus, if you'd like to chime in to talk about the Sounds Ballpark that is going up. Uh, a, we want to talk a little bit about the cost as well coming up, but really our focus in, in the beginning is going to be you know, traffic flow and parking because that you know, this used to be huge state parking lots back there that, that a lot of this development has taken up. And I know that the state, there was a lot of negotiating with the state. The state is building that parking garage there, Correct. Uh, which for a lot of the games will be, you know, the state workers will be gone. Is yep. that right? And it'll be able to be used by fans, right? right? Yeah. In the 2016 season, obviously, um, when the employees leave, the, our fans will come in and use that garage yep. for for games or community events, concerts, whatever may be happening. Mm -hmm. In general, how great is it? You know, I, I've been here almost 10 years now, and ever since I got to the Nashville area, I they've been talking about a new, perhaps a new ballpark, a yeah. new ballpark, and there was a lot of talk about maybe something down on the river, right? where now instead they're building an amphitheater, an yep. outdoor amphitheater, which is going to be great. Um, why Sulphur Dell? I mean, obviously the historical connection, but sure. the, do you like the area? Do you like uh, the whole setup? Yeah, when um, actually I was in the mayor's office and we, we looked at actually several sites, including the, the site downtown, the thermal site where the amphitheater is yeah. being built. We looked at several other sites, including obviously where we are today. Um, yeah, we like the ingress, egress. We like the opportunity to spread our economic development, you know, along Jefferson Street, north of downtown. This expands us, you know, rather than clustering everything in the mm -hmm. downtown core, this kind of grows us. When they originally looked at this in about 2006 at, at the thermal site, it was a different downtown. We didn't have the Music City Center, didn't have the Skimmerhorn on, online. It's just a whole different element altogether. So this gives an opportunity to do something in a different area of town. And frankly, it's just it's super convenient for folks to walk to. And the, you know, as you mentioned earlier, it was an asphalted uh, area. It was a lot of uh, a few dilapidated buildings that we tore down. Mm -hmm. So it's a new area for some folks to find. And we're hoping that people will, will do that and, and get in there and be patient. That first home stand will be a little interesting, you know. People haven't been there before, but we think there's ample parking and we think folks will really enjoy what they see. I think a lot of people out there who may have been considering buying a condo or something else in Germantown years ago. Probably wish they had, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Prices have changed, yeah, trust sure me. I, I, I've looked over there. It's just such a growing, uh, vibrant area. And like you said, uh, it is an area that needs a little shot in the arm, yeah. perhaps, especially along Jefferson Street, and, and there's a lot of history there, yep. a history with music, history with baseball. This is just the beginning of what could trickle trickle out, you know, the ripple effects. Yeah. Right? You know, and baseball dates back, the, 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 that's the special thing. Any baseball fan knows history is, is huge with baseball, and baseball was played here in 1880. Uh, in this area. So we're really bringing it back to its home. There's not a lot of places in the United States who are able to really deliver it back to yeah. that really, uh, you know, home plate will literally be, you know, yards from where it was once upon a time. And that's that kind close. of a neat, that, yeah, literally. And uh, it, it, it's, that history is going to be represented in the ballpark in a lot of ways. And so fans can come in and learn about all the people who played there before and the history of that mm -hmm. site. I mean, we've, we've you know, found them. Um, dinosaur bones in that area and that's that's really literally where our city began you know when it was the sulfur spring right when you first saw the initial drawings and design for the park how exciting was that oh super yeah it's uh, you know when uh, the architects and the plant you know came and rolled it out and said yeah, this is yeah, what we, we're thinking yeah we had had all these meetings where people had laid everything on the table and kind of dreaming you know, and what, what do you want and when we actually saw it begin to come together it's been fantastic and populous in kansas city was our main uh, architects and locally it was hastings architecture and they've done such a fabulous job mm -hmm. people are going to be really impressed with what they see one of the biggest pieces um, architecturally is a 360 degree concourse so no matter where you are in the facility, if you're getting a hot dog, you, know, you can keep an eye on the game. If the kids are in the outfield in the family area, you know it's very easy to, to always see you know the game and kind of keep your focus mm -hmm. on that. Awesome. And of course, we're going to talk a little more about the design uh, and the plan of, of the ballpark. I'm going to talk to you about that. We've got some graphics we're going to show also on the parking uh, and a few other things. Some more video for you. We're going to go ahead and take our first break. Wide open phone calls, folks. If you'd like to call in, talk about baseball tonight. You can talk about opening day, too. We'll talk. Sure. Hey, it's baseball. 737-PLUS is our phone number. Stay with us. First break here on Open Line. We'll be right back.